Hello, my name is Khalif Asagai. I'm a lawyer, a lobbyist, and a business owner, and somebody who's faced a lot of challenges in life. Um, I was a completely broken man. I was at rock bottom with a pretty serious drug addiction that had been plaguing me for years, really since high school. And what I did for 10 years to try and deal with my pain, it was get high. And I realized that there was something missing in my life. The drugs were filling a huge void that I was experiencing at all times. But you know what? There was never enough drugs to take for me to feel better. I always felt broken. When I realized that despite my behavior, I had been blessed time and time again. I had the privilege of uh, attending law school at UCLA, passing the bar the first time, starting my own business. I was blessed, but I was still making mistakes. I didn't get that I already had the life that I wanted because I felt so empty. The challenging thing about my journey was knowing that I bore responsibility for the condition that I was living in. It was important for me, at least, to say, no matter what you've done before, no matter what decisions that you've made in the past, you can decide today that you can change everything from here and forever. And that's what happened in my life. I thought it would be great for our congregation to see Khalif speak. It's not a few people, there's 1,500 people that come to our church, and Khalif did an incredible job. And as a communicator myself, I know uh, speaking to people publicly is more than just keeping them awake. It's about inspiring them, it's about getting them to change the way they think, it's about um, helping them reach to higher heights. And having Khalif speak that first time, I was blown away. Um, Khalif really has inspiration in him, um, he really has motivation in him, and he's someone who can connect to any crowd. So when I was in college, I actually raced mountain bikes. And I had this big goal, like I wanted to go pro at mountain bike racing. I thought I was bad, I was fast. And so I was racing in college and I had this particular race in Lake Castaic. So the first time I went through, I thought I was, you know, pretty fast. I hit all the jumps, I felt good. And I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna do pretty well in this race. And I wasn't in the first place. So I was like, oh, okay, I gotta go faster. So the next time I get up there, because now I'm determined, right? I'm about to get this goal, I'm gonna win this race, I'm about to go hard. So I get up there, there was a split second where I was like, I'm going way faster than I, th I was the last time. And there's a turn coming up. And in that turn, there was also a big rock. And so as I got up there and I started speeding through that section, I looked at that rock and I was like, I do not wanna hit that rock. And what happened? I looked at it and in that split second I was thinking I don't want to hit that rock, boom, hit the rock. Did a front flip off the bike, landed upside down and backwards against a tree. Focus on the path you want to take, not the obstacles you're trying to avoid. For all of my life, I've spent a lot of time looking at the things I don't want to happen, right? And that's a good example. But when you think about what you don't want to happen, you're putting your energy towards that. You know, and if you commit yourself to something and you never stop trying to achieve it, you will achieve it. It's just, that's the law. It's how it's going to work. Your pursuit is where you find your perfection. It's always an honor to have Khalif come out and speak to my students. Um, his topics are always so motivational, inspirational, open and honest. Um, his connection with students is particularly amazing. Just him being able to talk to them about things that are important to them, things that they can relate to, and giving them candid honest feedback about what's going to help them become successful and knowing that they too despite the challenges they have in their lives can be whoever they want to be right here that's my tire popping and at that moment one of those people yelled to me keep going and i won this race by 0 0.028 seconds one person in that moment one person changed my life make a decision to pursue your greatest dreams and that you can be that one voice for yourself that encourages you to keep pursuing your dream. After Khalif spoke at our church, I had multiple people approach me and ask when Khalif would be speaking again because he was so inspirational. What I've learned throughout this journey is that there are a lot of people who need help and encouragement to reach their professional dreams. 
I want to show people that there's a way to reach their potential and live their life the way they want to.